In the Meridian Kessler neighborhood, three families awoke to shattering glass this morning. 24 Hour News 8's Brenda Donnelly joins us live from the newsroom. Brenda, vandals may be to blame in this case. Yes, Dave, and these homeowners were shaken and shocked by it. Three large rocks thrown into each of their front windows. They've spent the day cleaning up the mess and wishing those responsible could be held responsible. I was uh, jolted out of bed at 2.30 this morning promptly by the sound of what appeared to be someone trying to break into the house. This limestone rock came flying through this window, shattered the man's lead glass pane window and for a moment his sense of security. It's distressing and uh, makes one more fearful. The homeowners in this crime don't want to show their faces or their homes, but did tell us their stories. Got brave and uh, came downstairs, turned on the lights and was presented with this in the uh, middle of the living room floor. Ten minutes earlier and two blocks away, two more families awoke to the same noise. That sounded like ten windows broke. At 55th and Washington, two more stones, two more windows, one right in front of a security sign. The intention, I, I, I don't think, was, you know, do anything other than vandalism. And that to me is just really strange. Some of the homeowners said they've lived in the area their whole lives. They agreed that while it's always a risk, they never thought they'd be the victims. And we enjoy living here, and you just don't think this will happen. The only comforts they see in the situation, no injuries, and police say they were most likely not targeted. We, we have shared misery. <laughs> um, but, uh, yes, at least I wasn't just singled out. I'm, I'm just thankful that it was not a break-in and that... No one was injured. The stones found inside the homes were all taken from other properties. Some were even able to ID exactly where the stone was picked up. That part of the story is coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, live in the newsroom, Brenna Donnelly, 24-Hour News 8.